Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'll be presenting uh, ABARE's outlook for the dairy industry. The main message uh, I'll have in my presentation is that the outlook for dairy has improved over the last 12 months and is now quite positive. Farm cash incomes are forecast to rise this year. World dairy prices and Australian farm gate uh, milk prices are expected to remain at favourable levels. And Australian milk production and uh, exports of uh, Australian dairy products are expected to rise. I think it's also fair to say that factors expected to influence demand over the longer term that were discussed by Karen Schneider, Jamie Pem and others in this morning's sessions are already uh, affecting the prospects of Austra for Australian dairy. I will discuss the demand influences on world markets later in my presentation. But first, I'd like to take a look at the financial performance of Australian dairy farms this year. Farm cash, average farm cash income after falling last year is expected to rise this year to be 30% above the 10-year average. Last year, farm incomes fell because of a large fall in prices and there was a significant increase in expenditure on fodder because of dry conditions. This year, the increase in incomes is, is due largely to a significant increase in prices. Spending on fodder will again increase this year because of dry conditions, but it will not outweigh the influence of the higher prices. Farm incomes are forecast to be higher in all states, but there are significant regional variations. Larger increases are expected in Victoria, South Australia and Tasmania than in Queensland and Western Australia. And when you look at New South Wales, dairy farms in the southern part of the state are expected to perform better than those in the northern part of the state. I have just mentioned the, last, the large price increase for milk at the farm gate this year. Another increase is forecast for next year, but it is expected to be more modest. Over the medium, over the medium term, the price of milk is expected to fall modestly in, in real terms, in line with movements in world prices. However, at the end of the outlook period, it is still expected to remain around 7% above the 10-year average to 2012. 13. Australian milk production is projected to go, grow over the outlook period to around 10 billion litres. The main driver of the uh, forecast higher milk production is expected higher milk yields. There has been a long term trend over a long period of time where average milk yields per cow have been increasing. There have been some short-term variations from this trend growth, but the trend is quite evident. This can be put down to improved genetics and technology, better pasture management, an increase of uh, feed use of forage crops and feed grains. We're expecting these influences to continue increasing the average milk yield per cow over the outlook period. <coughs> Increases in cow numbers are expected to have a small influence on the projected increase in Australian milk production. Cow numbers are forecast to uh, increase slightly in the short term in response to favourable milk prices, but remain largely stable over the latter part of the outlook period.
With higher production and strong world demand, the volume of dairy exports is projected to increase over the outlook period for all major dairy product groups. The value of dairy exports is forecast to rise by 15% next year because of the higher volumes, favourable, favourable world prices and an assumed lower dollar. Over the medium term, the increase in the value of exports is projected to be more modest with export prices uh, expected to fall slightly in real terms. Measured by value, around 45% uh, of our milk production is exported in the form of dairy products. With such a high export orientation, world markets are important to the Australian dairy industry. I've already mentioned how strong world demand is expected to contribute to um, higher Australian exports. This demand is also forecast to drive increases in the world prices of dairy products this year and next. However, higher production in major exporting countries is expected to limit the extent of the forecast price increases. Over the medium term, we're expecting producers around the world to respond to the favourable prices and continue to increase production. With production increasing, prices are expected to fall modestly in real terms uh, over the outlook period. But by the, end of the, by the end of the period, remain quite a bit above the 10-year average to 2012-13. Now we'll just take a look at some of the key drivers on the demand side. Over the, over the outlook period, strong demand is expecting from emerging economies of Asia, the Middle East and North Africa. In these reasons, rising incomes, higher populations and more consumption of Western style foods are all expected to contribute to the higher demand. Additionally, there is expected to be a limited capacity for production to increase significantly in these regions, which is expected to increase their demand for imports. Rising uh, world imports of milk powders is a good example to look at to see how this rising demand has been unfolding. Before the global financial crisis, there was steadily, steadily rising imports in the ASEAN nations, China and the Middle East and North Africa. Immediately after the global financial crisis, there was a drop in imports with the sudden drop in incomes, except for China. As world economies have recovered from the global financial crisis, imports of these milk powders have again been increasing steadily. The pattern, this pattern of world import demand for milk powders can be seen in Australia's exports for dairy products. Asia has been an important destination for our dairy exports for a long period of time and its share grew from around about half to almost two thirds over the last decade. At the same time, the importance of the Middle East has grown significantly, driven by increased trade in milk powders. Now we'll have a look at the supply side. On the supply side, stocks can have a large influence on world supplies and prices, especially stocks in the European Union and the United States. Dairy stocks in these two regions have fallen steadily over the last five years, especially for skim milk powder, which are now at negligible levels. With stocks at reduced levels, new production will be important in satisfying demand, especially for skim milk powder. Milk production 
has been increasing over the last few years in the main dairy exporting countries. Next year, production is expected to increase in these countries in response to favourable milk prices and lower feed grain prices and with the assistance of higher milk yields per cow. With milk prices projected to remain favourable, milk production in these countries is expected to continue rising over the medium term. An additional contributing factor to the projected increases in milk production in the European Union is the expiry of the milk production quota. When it expires next year, uh, milk production in the European Union is expected to migrate from the less efficient countries, uh, produ producing countries, to the more efficient countries and increase the average milk yield per cow. Also in New Zealand, there has been uh, large scale conversions of beef properties and sheep properties to dairy enterprises, which going forward is going to increase the production capacity of their dairy industry. In summary, the outlook for dairy is a positive one. Farm cash incomes of Australian dairy farms is forecast to rise this year. World dairy prices and Australian farm gate milk prices are expected to remain at favourable levels over the outlook period and Australian milk production and exports of dairy products are expected to rise. Thank you very much. <laughs>